Hey you guys, it's Toya and thank you for watching Toya J TV. So today I am going to show you a quick and fairly easy way to do your hair. And this is gonna come in handy when you don't have a lot of time and you just need, you don't have all that time to deep condition. You don't have all the time to pre-pool. You don't have a lot of time to sit in between, okay? So I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to do that. And I'm gonna be using the Biel Jones products, but you will still have great results, okay? So even though I'm showing you a quick and easy way today, I am not saying that you should always skip your deep conditioning and you should always skip your pre-pool. You should always skip your reconstructive treatments. I'm not saying that, but there are times because you do need those things, but there are times when you just don't have the time. Okay. So normally for me, I shampoo my hair every week. So I'm typically getting at least two deep conditioning treatments and at least two reconstructive treatments a month because I alternate. So I'll deep condition, uh, then I'll do the protein, deep condition, protein, okay? And you can do that the other way if you want. You can do protein, deep con as long as you're alternating, okay? It doesn't matter which one you do first. But like today, this day right here, we're not doing that, okay? And I do recommend that you at least get them in once a month each one at least once a month. And that's especially if you have chemically treated and or relaxed hair, okay? Because your hair, you wanna keep your hair strong, you wanna keep your hair healthy, you wanna keep your hair on your head, okay? And you want it to be long, luxurious. Well, even if it's not long, you still want it to be healthy, have a lot of body and have shine, okay? That's, that's what we want. So, Anywho, as you can see, I have my hair in a bun right now, and I have been wearing this bun for longer than I would like to admit. But today is the day I have been procrastinating. Every day I've been saying, I'll just shampoo my hair tomorrow. I'll just shampoo my hair tomorrow. It can wait no longer, okay? I cannot look like this another day, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to shampoo my hair, and I'm gonna walk you through all the steps and show you what I'm using, why I'm using it, and all that good stuff. All right, so here we go. So on the first lather, I'm gonna be using the By L. Jones Extreme Clean Clarifying Shampoo. And that basically gives my hair a clean slate. As you notice, it's not lathering up very well. And that just tells you that my hair was super dirty, but it's still cleansing. So I'm gonna be using the Honey Yolk Moisture Silk for the second lather. And this shampoo has a little bit of protein in it, which is great for relaxed hair and any hair that has chemicals because it helps strengthen the hair and it helps protect it also from any damage. So as you can see on this shampoo, my hair is lathering up very well because that Extreme Clean shampoo got most of the dirt already out. So I'm just following it, following it up with this second lather. So now I'm using the Honey Glaze Moisturizing Conditioner, which is also great for relaxed hair and it doesn't have to sit long at all. So at this point, I have shampoo, conditioned, rinse the conditioner out, and now I have towel dried my hair and I'm going to apply leave-in conditioner. Now I will give one tip when I am shampooing, when I'm conditioning my hair, I do let the conditioner sit about 10, 15 minutes. So basically what I do is I shampoo and condition right when I get in the shower. And then while I'm conditioning, I go ahead and wash my body. I mean, I shave. Anything I need to do in the shower, I do while the conditioner is sitting. And then after that, then I rinse it out. And here we are. I'm gonna be using the vanilla milk. This is the vanilla milk leave-in conditioner and I'm gonna be using this it is lightly infused with a little bit of protein and I use this when I am using heat. So today I'm not gonna roller set. Remember, we don't have a lot of time today. We got like an hour and maybe 30 minutes, maybe, okay? So um, I'm gonna just spray this all throughout my hair, making sure to get the ends. And then I'm just gonna comb this through. And today I'm just going to flat iron it. So I will be applying a little bit of heat now. After I flat iron it, I may throw like some large rollers in there to give it a little bit more body. But you know, we on time crunch right now, okay? And I usually put my part on this side. 
So I'm gonna apply this whipped honey foam wrap. And what this is gonna do, this is basically a setting lotion in foam wrap form. So this uh, will lay my edges and my roots down. And that way I don't have to apply as much heat to them. So I just apply that all around the edges and the root. And then I comb that in. So my hair, it's been about four weeks since my relaxer. So my hair is fairly, well, not fairly, it is. It's still straight. So I don't need to apply a whole lot. Um, this is very, the Whip Tiny Foam Wrap. I use this also when I'm doing my roller sets. If I'm doing a rod set, um, when I have braids, I use it on my braids to keep it looking fresh. Um, I use that for just about everything. And like I said, if I was doing a roller set, I would use that also. But also when I'm stretching my relaxer, I am always sure to put it on my edges and roots when I'm stretching my relaxer because that helps to straighten it out. And that way I don't have to spend as much time flat ironing it because the whipped honey foam wrap will help me to straighten it out a little bit. And it makes it way more easier to manage. So at this point, what I'm going to do is sit under the dryer for about 30 minutes. And that's going to get me pretty much dry. And then we will go from there. So at this point, my hair is completely dry and it already has body. Look at it. And it feels amazing already. Okay. So now at this point, the only thing I have to do is style it. But before I do that, and all I need is a little drop. Because look, once you spread it all around your hands, look, you see how shiny my both of my hands are? Once you spread it, it's going to get everywhere, okay? And you don't want to have so much that you weigh your hair down. but this is gonna act as a heat protectant to protect against the heat. Now, I'm only gonna be using the flat iron on about 400. I'm gonna be using my Toy Primo flat iron that is also in my line, but I'm only gonna be using it on 400s. Again, since my hair is pretty much uh, freshly relaxed still, it's only been a month. So the relaxer does most of the straightening for me. I'm just giving it that sleekness with the heat. So let's go flat iron. So after I get done flat ironing my hair, I like to wrap it because wrapping it just gives it that extra so that when you unwrap it, you have a lot of volume and a lot of body and it just moves in the direction that it needs to move in. And I'm using the Biel Jones Satin Wrap Cap. That's what I'm using to wrap my hair at this point because when you use this to underneath your scarf, it helps your scarf to stay in place overnight. And I did sleep in this, so this is the next day. I'm just simply unwrapping my hair and you see my hair is in place. So I'm using the Satin Moisture Cream and this is my secret weapon because not only does it keep my hair moisturized, but it also helps when you put it on the ends of the hair so that you don't have to get trims as often and you can retain more length. So now I'm just unwrapping it and you see it's just falling exactly how I need it to fall.
and you can see the body that my hair already has in it look i barely have to touch it and it just moves that's what using that extreme clean shampoo does that's why i love using all the products together because they work together but if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time talk to y'all later bye bye